Okay, this tutorial show you how to use for loop. The, if the number of repetition is known, then you may use the for loop instead of a do while or while loop. Again, most important thing is uh, if repetition is known, then you use for loop. So basically saying uh, if you add number 1 to 10, you know the initial value is 1, the last value is 10, you repeat 10 times. That's what we, what we mean by uh, repetition is known. Okay, let me start with the flow chart. Again, decision, which is a uh, count less than 100. If it's true, we will print welcome to Java, then count plus plus. Let me make a bit more space. If it's true, we continue repeat. If it's false, we go to uh, output, print, uh, let's say count. And then uh, we stop our program. So we say start. Or you can say begin. Here we put it as a initial value, count equal to zero. Same thing, I will put count less than 100. Print welcome to Java, then count plus plus. So here, if the condition is true, what we want is um, print welcome to Java and then increase by one. That's a loop body. If it's not false, Outside the loop body, we print count. Then we can end or stop our program. Okay, let me write it down the syntax. So the first one is initial action. Then uh, loop con the continuation conditions, which is count less than 100. 
And then there's something you call uh, action after each iterations, which you already use it. Uh, what we call it as account plus plus. So uh, we may need to make a minor change to our uh, flowchart, especially the particular process. So here is the loop body, which is actually one statement in this case, print welcome to Java. So we have a single statement, even though it used to be two statements are separated. So count equal to zero. Loop conditional continu continuation conditions is there. Initial reaction will be uh, use it before count. Most likely count equal to one. Sometimes it's equal to zero. And the action after each iteration is, in this case, is count plus plus. So let me change slightly. Statement is here, print, welcome to Java. And the count plus plus refers to action after each iteration. Each iteration refers to print, welcome to Java. So let me make a minor change. So we have a single statement that refers to loop body, and then count refers to as a action after each iteration, even though there's a single statement. Okay, let me uh, add missing open parentheses. Okay, let's just create a new Java application project. Again, uh, this example will be same as um, while or do while loop. Okay, we have a uh, initial value, count equal to zero. That's the variable will control uh, loop conditions. And then the first one is, um, let me just write the while loop and then we'll change to for, for loop. print count okay it's a uh, straightforward build and compile sorry yeah, build and run so we print uh, welcome to java now you should consider uh, the beginning is uh, number one, two, three, four, five, and they increase by one. So you can get some idea. Um, if we use a for loop here, 
Uh, let me write it down syntax for the for loop, just in case. Initial actions, in this case, we are referring to int count equal to zero. Then uh, loop continuation conditions, we are referring to count less than five. And then action after each iterations, that refers to counts plus plus. What we really want to do is um, loop body. In this case, we have a single statement, even though it looks like a true statement, uh, which is printing welcome to Java. Okay, following the syntax here, uh, don't worry about it. I think I can go to line number 28. Okay, we are going to follow initial actions that refers to int count equal to zero. Int count equal to zero. I already uh, declare count, so I can just say count equal to zero. Then we are going for the loop condition, continuation conditions. So same thing. Count less than five. Next one is something you call uh, action after each iterations. So each iter iteration reports to 29. So after we print welcome to Java, what we like to do. While uh, we increase by um, one, so we can increase count, so that we can move to next iterations. So here we say count plus plus. So control variable to uh, to move to next iterations. That's what we call it as action after each iteration. So if we change to 3 to 5, let's say um, if it's a 3 to less than 5, we print welcome to Java, increase by 1, so it becomes number 4, still less than 5, so we print, increase by 1, so I become, sorry, count become 5, that is not less than 5, that's false, so we go to line number 32, then we print count. So count is still 5, but message will appear only twice. That's why you have to be careful when you're referring to uh, initial actions. It may start from 0, or it can be start with a 3 or 4. Sometimes we initialize count with this info loop because that's the only one we use it. As long as we don't have to use uh, line number 34. Okay, I will undo it. Okay, just let me create a new Java class with the main method. Again, uh, we can use um, initial PSVM and press tab key. That's what we call as a keyboard uh, shortcut. Let me introduce one more keyboard shortcut. 
go to second page, uh, what we call it is S out. S out, then press tab key. It will show you a system out print here. So this example, we will um, sum number one to 10. based on integer value. So we know that uh, initial value is number one, last value is 10. We also know that uh, action after each iteration is based on a number, one, two, three, increased by one. So int i equal to start from one until uh, 10, so we include equal i plus plus, and then uh, int sum equal to zero, plus equal, so we can add up. That's why it has to be plus equal. So I should remove int, because it's already de declared on line, line number 17. Sum is plus sum. This is a uh, most popular or particular example. Sum is 55. We can increase from add up numbers from uh, 1 to 10 and then increase by 1, which is i plus plus. Um, but at the beginning, if you are not sure about these calculations, this is what we um, normally do. Try to uh, find out by uh, for yourself. So put the system out. So it says that uh, i is 1, so clearly repeat uh, 10 times, 1 to 10. So 1 plus 2, and then 3, and 4, and then and so on. It will give you 55. So if you add a bit more details, it will be clear. So I will say um, sum is plus sum. So when a uh, for loop repeat each time, let me say plus, you can s clearly see there what's going on with uh, that statement. So when i is 1, sum is 1 because start with uh, 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Add up 2, it becomes 3. You add 3 plus adding 3, 6. 6 plus 4 and 10. So if I jump to uh, 45, I equal to 10 and then 40, 55. This, this is how you manually verify. What about when i equal to um, 11? That will be uh, false. So you end up with uh, line number 25. I think uh, this wall. Uh, you can commit out the initial value. Usually, I will be used with this in uh, for loop. So you can actually declare with this in the for loop. That's kind of convention. That's all. Thank you.